Humans look a bit like each of their parents. This is because they share genetic information with both of them. This mixing comes about because of sexual reproduction, which involves the joining of two sex cells or gametes in the process called fertilization. You can find out more about fertilization by watching this video. Male and female humans have different reproductive systems. During puberty, the reproductive organs develop to enable the production of offspring. This video covers what happens during puberty in more detail. The testes produce sperm, the male gametes. The testes are kept outside the body in the scrotum. This keeps them cooler and is better to form sperm production. The sperm ducts carry sperm from the testes to the urethra, which is a tube running down the inside of the penis. Here the sperm is mixed with secretion from glands to produce a liquid called semen. Semen helps carry the sperm into the female reproductive system. Here's the female reproductive system. The female gametes, eggs or ova, are released from the ovaries. One is released every month by a process called ovulation. When a baby girl is born, she already has all of the eggs she will ever release inside her ovaries. During puberty, the monthly cycle of an egg maturing and being released starts. This is part of the menstrual cycle. More about this can be found in this video. After ovulation, the egg travels along a tube called the fallopian tube, or oviduct, away from the ovary and towards the uterus, which is also known as the womb. During sexual intercourse, also called copulation, semen is ejaculated from the penis into the woman's vagina and swim up through the cervix and uterus. If a sperm manages to reach the egg in the fallopian tube, then fertilization will occur. The egg only survives for 24 hours after ovulation, but sperm can survive for up to 5 days. This means that there is about 6 days during a cycle in which a sperm and egg can meet and the female can become pregnant. The fertilized egg, called a zygote, will start to divide. On reaching the uterus, this cluster of cells will settle into the lining. If the egg is not fertilized, it will leave the uterus along the lining and menstruation, also known as a period, will occur. Once inside the uterus, in a pregnant woman, the ball of cells will continue to divide and differentiate to form different types of cells. Some will form structures in the embryo and others the placenta. The placenta is an organ and is where the exchange of substance between the mother and embryo occurs. Nutrients and oxygen will pass from the mother's blood into the embryo's blood in the placenta. Blood vessels in the umbilical cord transport these to the embryo. Waste products like carbon dioxide will pass from the embryo to the mother where they are excreted. At the end of week 8 after fertilization, the embryo is called a fetus. Now it has all the organs including a heart and brain, but it is only still the size of a grape. The fetus continues to develop for the entire pregnancy, also called gestation, so it can survive independently of its mother. This is normally between 38 and 42 weeks. In this video you have learnt about sexual reproduction in humans and how the male and female sexual reproductive organs are used to form and grow a fetus, ready to be born. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well. Until next time.